Now then, here we are in the Lake District at the summit, pretty much, of Scarfell Pike. And there is just a stream of people. It's just unbelievable how many people have come up today, but it is a glorious day. Look at it. But I am here with David P. McEntee again and the beautiful blue. And uh, we're going to have a camp out. So we're going to walk from here to Great End, I think. And then from Great End, we're going to continue on to Glaramora, it's called. And we'll be camping there. But to be fair, I can't wait to get away from people. You know, you come to these places to sort of find that uh, solitude. And um, when you've got this amount of people up here, oh, it's like overwhelming. I just want to get away from it. So anyway, we are going to bash on. So the first peak of the day is Broad Crag and uh, it's a massive boulder section so it's just a case of clambering up. So Blue, you ready? Let me get up first dog. Alright, come on then, up here. <laughs> Easy. Oh boy, hey. Good lad. Go on then. Here we are then, the summit of Broad Crag. Yes, mate. First one of the day, second one of the day technically. We've already done Scarfell Pike, which is up there, still streaming with people. What a place though, I mean, it's just the views all the way around, absolutely stunning. Whoa. Look at all this, down to Great Gable there. Yeah. Come on, Blue. Right, here we are, just close to the summit of Ill Crag, and I have met a very special person, haven't I? Yeah. What's your name? Bradley. <laughs> yes, and how do you know me? Because uh, I watch your videos. You watch my videos, don't you, yeah? Yeah, every single night. <laughs> every night, like literally watches them every night. So he's probably my biggest fan. Yes, I am. Even more than my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Right, so tell me, you've got a backpack on, what is in your backpack? Uh, I got loads of nice stuff, like... I can see a water bottle. Yeah, that's just my shoes. Water bottle. It's a new one from Astis. Oh, is it? It yeah. is. Well, Blue, come here. And you've met Blue already, haven't you? Come on, Blue. Yeah. Blue! Come here. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Oh. Let's sit down, eh, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you comfy? Yeah. Oh, Blue, stop, stop it. <laughs> Go on then, get on. I saw that bag in your videos. I know, you watch them all, so obviously you've seen the bag. And he wears it on every adventure we go on. Yeah, 
I like this one. Especially, yeah, like this one, especially when we're on camping out because he carries all his own food. Yeah, and I go well camping. You go well camping? Excellent. And your dad said that you've been kayaking as well. Yeah. And do you like that? Yeah. Good. And have you been this kayaking? Is, yeah. And what's your name? Ebony. Ebony. That's my sister. And do you watch the videos too? I've never seen one. You've never seen one? No. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I've watched them. Yeah, she should watch them, shouldn't she? Yeah, because I love them. Yeah. Well, it has been such a pleasure meeting you today. And we've had to we've had a bit of a walk together, haven't we? Yeah. And you've got to see Blue. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. There he is. Yeah. Blue, stop smothering him. <laughs> Go on, get away then. Get away. Come on. Oh, he just walked all over you, mate, didn't he? <laughs> right. What are you doing now then? Where are you going? Yeah. Where are you gonna go? Where are we going? Uh, I don't remember. Was it Great End? I think you're heading. Yeah. If you're going to Great End, I think yeah. we're going that way as well. So we might even see you again. Yeah. 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 Right. Give me five, mate. It's been <laughs> lovely meeting you, and I hope you keep watching the videos, and I'll keep putting new ones out for you to watch. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You're a good lad, aren't you? Yeah. And keep getting outside. Have you got any message to tell the people? Uh, I love my and dad acting very much and it's good for me very much to out and you have to get out every day on some holidays or weekends. Exactly that! That is like the most perfect message ever to tell everybody out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I will see you again, hopefully, for a little bit more of this walk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, say goodbye then. Bye. <laughs> say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> what an amazing lad. I mean, a total incredible human. And, you know, everyone needs to sort of like take note from people like that, uh, just to sort of realize that, you know, just the simple things in life, like getting outside, just really do make you happy and he is saying that and telling people that already and he's only seven years old absolute legend proper legend that kid so yes we are going to continue we're currently still at the top of ill crag and just looking down into great moss down here and it is just stunning you can see this sort of a river here it just snakes its way down meanders down that's the correct word for it but um yeah just beautiful you literally feel on top of the world here so yeah let's carry on with you know even more happiness just after meeting people like that honestly just he's made my day he really has made my day so yeah let's get on well amazing place. it is so amazing i could spend the whole day you see yeah i always really love great moss just because it's it's like a hidden valley because there's nothing around that can see it. Yeah.
well, it's time for a bit of lunch. So I've got, again, an out of date ration pack from 2020. Apparently they're good though for a few years after and I've never had any issues. And this is tomato pasta salad. Quite excited about it. Although this one cold doesn't taste too good. It's not bad. Well, that's our lunch break over. Now we are heading to the summit of Great End. And I do like Great End. And it's not a bad place to pitch a tent either. And that is where I was uh, in my Storm Arwen video. A summit of Great End, taking a hammer in. So yes, fond memories of the place. Well here we are, we've made it to the summit of Great End and this is just spectacular the whole way around. I mean, you can see right down to Don't Water there. Green Gable, Great Gable, the usual suspects. Ling Mel, which isn't really known that well, but it looks epic from this side. And then obviously back up to the sort of Scarfell range there, but yeah, just incredible. And I'll just turn you around because I'll show you where we're heading now. So we're dropping down and we're going to go onto this one which is just highlighted by the sun there and uh, we're going to find a place to pitch a tent up there and relax back just for the evening and uh, then the next morning we'll be heading back down to the car but yep yeah, don't really want it to finish to be honest <laughs> when you're out places like this it's like you just completely I don't know, refreshed, you, you're relaxed because you're just away from everything else going on in life and you know, you never want it to end, no, never. Yeah. It's been epic, it's been so fun honestly. What a great weekend so far. Yep, so awesome mate. One more mountain to go. Yep, let's get on then. Yes lad. Just glorious, completely glorious. I <laughs> just feel so lucky being here. Me and Mutt appreciating nature to the fullest and its finest. Hey, you're a good lad. Here it is, that's the pitch that I suffered in with Storm Arwen. Luckily it was solid and uh, we were kept safe all night so So the last two efforts firstly this one which is my mountain Alan Craggs spelt my way as well and I've said before, but from the bottom down here, there's a Strava segment up to the top. And because it's my mountain, I had to claim my throne. So I currently am the king of the mountain on Alan Craggs. So if you fancy having a go at beating that, you won't beat it. <laughs> you won't beat it. But I'm challenging you to have a go anyway. Ah. Yeah. Stunning place though. Okay. 
down with young uns doing fist pumps and all that. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the summit. And I, I've got hair in my mouth. <laughs> and I am the king of the mountain. This is my mountain. I own it. And just what a place it is. Not a bad choice to be named after something like this. I'm not actually named after this. I was actually named after a river, the River Allen, which is uh, up near Hexham in Northumberland. And that's why my name is spelt A W L, -L E N, just like this mountain. So there you go. Ah. A happy man called Alan. <laughs> We are halfway between Allen Crags on this side and Glaramara on that side and these tarns are just beautiful so as we're walking past we're just thinking that just looks idyllic so instead of continuing on to the summit today our route back is that way anyway in the morning so we're going to summit it in the morning instead and we are going to pitch on this beautiful flat area here but just look at this overlooking just the most fantastic little town. And then we've got, you know, just mountains in the background. I think that one over there is Pike of Stickle, possibly. But, you know, look at, that's back all this. That's uh, Esk Pike. Um, or is it? That might be Bowfell from this side. I've never seen it from this side. It's the first time I've been here, but yeah, just in it all. And just very happy that we have found a pitch that is gonna be, just calm by the water. So anyway, let's get this tent up. Terranova Starlight One, which is a small tent, but I really, really do like this one. Yes, let's get it up then. Still a bit breezy, Matt.
I have to say again, I do like this tent. Just clean, really clean looking and just very simple to set up. Yep, right, let's get the rest of the gubbins inside it then now. It's a thing of beauty, it really is. That ain't too shabby, is it really? Cloud watching. Literally a cloud. <laughs> yep, not too bad at all. Well, here we are, sat in the tent. Oh, it's nice to get that cap off. And I'm gonna uh, cook up some dinner. And tonight we have some pasta with a carbonara sauce and then what I did was was cook off some bacon at home three slices of bacon and I've chopped it up and that is going to go in it as well so not a bad meal having a carbonara up on a mountain um, I could do with adding some veg to it to make it a bit more healthy but you know this is just how it goes when you're up here and then for pudding we have got a sticky toffee pudding It's lovely here, it really is. This little stove out. Screw her on. Now I've got a stand for this as well somewhere. Just make it a bit more stable. I think I've got to stand for it. Here we are, look. Simple little one. It's a bit annoying because you can't uh, put it in with the rest of the cooking kit because it's just the wrong shape, but it's got a wide base of support and it fits all sizes of can. So it's pretty good, is that? Pop that down. Keep tidy. Good old Swiss Army knife. It's always got something on it you need. And in this case, some scissors. I'll just chop the uh, corner off this first. Straight in with this sauce. Smells good. Pass the next. Drop the piece. Don't waste it. And then my bacon. That ain't too shabby, I would say. So let's get this lit and heat it all up. <sighs> I 
Well, it's a nice sitting in the tent, but it's beautiful out there, so. Well, I'm back in and that pasta, I've got to say, the carbonara was really good. But what made it really good was the bacon, to be fair. Anyway, now, pour a bit of water in here and I'm going to have this sticky toffee pudding. And if I do it like a, a boil in the bag where you warm it up, obviously it's going to taste a lot better than having it cold. Because there is like a bit of a syrup in there, so it's quite nice when that melts. But this water in here, I'm going to make my tea from as well. So it's a two in one scenario. So I'm just going to slightly open that just so it can get a bit of, it can breathe while it's boiling. I drop it down to the bottom of the bag a bit. Mm. Oh, that does taste good. Folder in. balance her up and give her some ignition. Wow, eh? So I'm just uh, taking a walk up onto this cragged section here. It's just uh, beautiful, absolutely everywhere is beautiful. Yep, this is like Christmas morning for me. <laughs> just uh, exploring places, just enjoying and just appreciating all this yeah just amazing it really is incredible absolutely incredible what a day just Having it dry, clear, and then that sunshine. And just these clouds as well that have been sort of drifting by. Just oh, amazing. Ah, yes, this is it. This is it. Here we go. 
<sighs> hey Blue, are you joining us? Come on boy. Yeah, part of the boys, eh? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Anyway, mate, here we are. Here we we are. are gonna answer some of the questions that were given to me. Blue, you in front of the mic and messing it all up already. <laughs> go on, go away. Go lie down. Lie down. <sighs> Good boy. Mm. Right, here we are. Uh, we're going to answer some of your questions. Um, I put out on my Instagram uh, for some questions for me and uh, Dave to answer while we were out camping. So here we go. So uh, first of all, most important thing, we are going to crack open a beer. Yes. Go for it, mate. I've got a brew dog, Hazy Jane. I'm a pale ale man. Woo! There you go. Mm. What's that like? Oh, yeah. Always class, mate. Yeah. So good, yeah. Well, this one, I have got a North Brewing Co. beer here. And uh, this is a Session IPA, 4.8%. And this one um, is actually for charity. And the charity is St. George's uh, Crypt, which is in Leeds, I think, Leeds Best. It's a Leeds company, this anyway. Um, and they've got some fantastic beers, I've got to say. But for every can of this bought, 10 pence goes to the homeless. Uh, so I think it's a fantastic charity, is that? So... Let's have a taste. I don't want to be telling to buy something if it doesn't taste good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it smells. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. We, we can manage with that one. <laughs> anyway, cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Nice Here one. we are. Here we are. We Sat made it. in an incredible place, and we've just had pretty much one of the best if not the best um a couple of days in the mountains mm. the weather's just been unbelievably good hasn't it incredible completely yeah. incredible so yeah and the places we've been and oh, yeah it's just been so, brilliant so much fun so yes very happy mm -hmm. anyway we are here to answer how can i put my beer don't yeah. spill i need that <laughs> <laughs> answer some of your questions so are you ready for this i'm ready mate yeah Let's this do is, it. So I, all I did was I just snapshotted. So I've got them on photos. It's the easiest way of doing it. Brilliant. So let's start off with, this is from Branston.w. Mm -hmm. Most underrated camping hiking brand. Underrated. Ooh. Can I say Rab? Underrated? Well, I think like Patagonia and North Face and people like that are like the top dogs. And I think Rab... I, is English, it's awesome, you know, uh, okay, in a way, I, I think it that. is underrated yeah, yeah. a little bit, yeah. I agree, and yeah. to be fair, we've got to promote Rab anyway, because mm. look at us, again, <laughs> we're sat, two peas in a pod, <laughs> uh, in our green tops, which were, these were given to us by Rab, Yeah. and yeah. me and Dave met at the Rab event that they held, Yeah. and yeah, it was awesome, wasn't it? It and, was really cool, yeah. You know, we just clicked, like, straight away, Immediately. Yeah. and um, I am... Um, quite a few years older than this guy but i think i act a lot of years younger than him so i yeah. think we balance out definitely, somewhere yeah. in the middle don't we definitely definitely so yeah yeah, yeah. awesome mate uh yeah so rab buy rab because mm. we think they're underrated definitely mm -hmm. they're awesome mm -hmm. uh question then uh andy w 1972 uh he must be late 40s uh what's the best wild pitch you have ever done either for youtube or not filmed oh I mean, I, I'll go first. So I recently was in Snowdonia and I wild camped uh, on this hillside opposite Trafan. The actual name of the mountain is escaping me, but it was just insane. Like there was still snow caps on Trafan. It was sunset when I got there and it was like, it, it, it felt like I was in Lord of the Rings. Like it felt like, awesome. I'm, yeah, it was an amazing fair, pitch. Yeah. Here, I feel like yeah. I'm in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, and tonight's pitch, to be mm. fair, in a bad one. It's uh -huh. uh, one of the best I've had. Mm -hmm. What stands out for me? <laughs> pretty much all my camps have been pretty epic. Um, yeah. The ones I remember most are in the storms and those are the ones that I felt more by being in a storm. Yeah. It, it heightened my senses and it gave me more of a, not so much a rush, but like um, just a real feeling of being alive. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. So yeah, it's only Paolo. I'm heading to the lakes tomorrow for a week, heading to Scarfell and Helvellyn. Mm. It'll be a fluke to see you, you and Blue. My missus would wet herself. <laughs> she, she loves Blue. Um, and pretty sure she has a crush on you too. <laughs> oh, yes, thanks. 
Um, look forward to your next vid. Okay, no, no question. No question there. <laughs> no question. All right, let's move on. Favourite mountain? Oh, probably Scafell. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Today what? was just, well, Scafell Pike, yeah, I enjoyed. No, actually, no, Scafell, yeah. See, so Scafell for me yeah. is top one or two, really, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, you sit on Scarfell and then you are mm. looking back at Scarfell Pike and you're watching the streams of people and mm. all. I mean, I love people, but mm. I also come here to escape it. So sat Definitely. on Scarfell makes a hell of a difference because you're looking back over it all. And when we were there, there was no one else on the mountain at all. Like it was, yeah. it was pretty much ours. We had the whole place to ourselves. Yeah, so. yeah good shout. Yeah, I'd, I think that's probably my that, favourite. That yeah. Yeah. I do like um, this one at the end, Great End, Great end as well. Yeah. Great End's a good one. Um, so, oh, that was from Ben Hills, 1983. Sorry. That's what uh, So, next one. TS Impeccable Music. Cool. Ow, have you any plans to do uh, the Cullin Mountains? Mm. So, they're on the Isle of Skye. Okay. Um, I've not any plans for it, but I'm going to kayak around Skye and just do some cool sort of a uh, sea, sea stuff, um, mm. looking back onto the mountains. So, what I could do is maybe kayak into a bay um, drag my boat, hide it a little bit, mm. not that you need to really round there, and then um, hike up and do a camp on one of them. So that would be kind that of would cool be very to do. That cool, yeah. 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 So, yeah, definitely a possibility. Yeah. Kevboy81, not a question as such, just wanted to say your father is some man. He is Love some his man. philosophy. <laughs> he is some man. He is some he, guy. He yeah. is a proper <laughs> legend, yeah. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm well proud to have him as my dad. And, yeah. um, yeah, I feel lucky that I've been brought up by someone like that who yeah. is more outdoorsy than pretty much anyone going. Yeah. Um, his nickname through quite a few communities is The Caveman. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he, yeah, he's ace, he is. He's a great guy. Cy Young, 1978. Same age as me, so he'll be 44. Mm -hmm. um, maybe 43. Mm -hmm. So, if you could pitch a tent anywhere, where would you choose? Oh wow! Is this anywhere, anywhere in, in the, the world, world or anywhere in a mountain? Um, I mean, like it'd be awesome to do something like um, you know, base camp sort of thing. Yeah, Everest. oh yeah, yeah. I think yeah, you hit the nail on the head there. Yeah, base camp, like the that. first base camp on Everest that yeah, would be yeah. amazing. I think it takes like two weeks to get up there, or at least yeah. a week to get up there. It's like a proper Definitely, long trip. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I think that would be amazing. It would, to be fair. Um, I'd like that. Yeah, I think where else there is. Mm. <laughs> I'd uh, maybe somewhere like um do you know Nigella um what's she got? Nigella Lawson is it? No, Nigella Uh no, I don't I don't know. The chef. The chef. What's she called? I don't know, mate. I'm not sure. It is Lawson, I think. Possibly. I, I was thinking her back garden anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just because like the food that she'd yeah, wear and throw good. outside, yeah. I'd just go through her bins and just <laughs> live like a king. So yeah, that'd be my uh, my That's my funny, place. Yeah. I think well, somewhere like that. Yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah. I just go through a bins. I love that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a bit posh eating every time. You yeah. know what I mean? Why not? Yeah, you know I'm used to like all this mountain rubbish that you mm. eat, and it's not very tasty. So yeah, today you were eating what two year old uh, ex army uh, yeah, pasta, right? A ration pack. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Some, tomato pasta thing but yeah, yeah it's still got I'm sure her right? pasta is probably a bit better even like, out of a bin yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely mate yeah so I'd probably go there mm. although 10 Downing Street but, uh, that'd be quite a good garden what, to camp roof? in that'd be quite just oh, yeah, because the there's parties going all the time yeah oh, all the time <laughs> apparently yeah. I'm not going to get into politics because I'm just not into that at all but anyway oh wow uh, so we have JW23 hmm. how is blue so well trained hmm well, he's just laid there, chilling out. Um, the thing about training a dog, I've just got to say that you and the family and everyone who's close to the dog needs to use the same commands mm. and make sure that the dog sticks by the commands. Otherwise, those commands become diluted and if you, 10 of you are saying, don't jump up, and then one lets it, it almost enforces it that it's okay to let it jump up. So you all need to do exactly the same thing. Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Tony Farnsworth. Have you been camping in Northumberland before? Have you? No. no. He's a southerner, so <laughs> this is like, he's had nosebleeds all week. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming this far up north, yeah. Because of the altitude. It's the altitude, like, oh, mate. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A lot higher up here. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
Northumberland. Well, to be honest, I was born in Northumberland. And oh, really? I've, I think I mentioned it today in this video. Mm. But, um, yeah, I was uh, born at, well, in Hexham General Hospital, and I lived in Allen Heads for the first, I don't know, 10 months of my life. Mm. And then the rest of the time I've been in Yorkshire, so... Mm. I am not quite Yorkshire born and bred, but I'm a Yorkshireman. Yeah. Yeah, short arms, deep pockets, <laughs> tight as hell. <laughs> Can walk under a snake with a top hat on, you know. <laughs> what budget camping gear do you own that you think are better than the expensive brand branded gear? Oh. Is... I can't say your tent, mate. Yeah, my tent I am not sucks, keen on your tent. Let's be honest. <laughs> it sucks. Well, we won't name it. <laughs> yeah, we won't. No. No, it's not great. You need to upgrade your tent. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. What are um, you going to get? Oh, I mean, that's the big question, isn't it? Yeah. You I'm, haven't looked I, at many. No, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to get. There's so many on the market. Um, yeah, I really, I really like the ultra life, the ultra life stuff that's on the market. Um, yeah. I quite like that something like just that's ultra light. But other than that, I really am not sure. I'm open to all suggestions, guys. All suggestions. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, you know, the more people have got a brain in it yeah. and experience, or exactly, you know, it, it helps. So. Definitely. Um, so yeah, budget camping gear. Mm. I'm not really sure. Um, My pillow is fifteen pounds on Amazon, and it is amazing. It does look pretty. It's cool. amazing. Yeah, mine's I have... like twenty six quid or something. Yeah. See, Summit one, and it's. It's good. It does the job. It's lightweight, but mm. yours does look. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, and I got a little bag for it. This material bag, and it's yeah. Does it work though? Yeah, works. Who well. slept best last night? Okay, yeah. You well, told me that you didn't that, sleep very well. <laughs> that's so true. That's true. Maybe you you pay a bit more. Yeah, and you sleep better. But that's also because you said that your girlfriend's told you that you could sleep like a cat. Like you could cat nap at any point Pretty in the much, day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's yeah, a skill she, in itself. She says that my superpower is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, my, my, that's the opposite of mine. I suck at sleeping. Yeah. yeah that. Brilliant. Oh. That was the Coopers Outdoors as well, sorry. Uh, nice. Georgia Obert Fried, Friedman. Mm. Have ever, <laughs> ever have problems with wild camping and been asked to move on? I've never been asked to move on. No, me And I've camped out. A few times. <laughs> <laughs> Handful. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never been asked to be moved on either. No, I've never had any issues. Uh, I've never had any angry farmers after me. Um, no. I think if you do it in the right places and you just like... Stealth. Use, use common sense, yeah? Stealth, common sense, leave no trace. Exactly. And don't ever do anything but that. Yeah. That's the message, definitely. Exactly, yeah. Um, Jack dot underscore I underscore... Where is the strangest place you've ever spent the night? Not just camping, could be any time. Mm. Strangest place? <laughs> Hell, I've slept in some right weird places. <laughs> I'm going to say there's a couple in Cornwall. Yeah. When I was at uni, <laughs> yeah. single. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up sleeping in a couple of strange places. Yeah, a couple of bathrooms, a couple of floors of the party, well, things yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was a bit like that. One, one of them was actually a, um, a beach hut. Oh wow! So we, me and a mate, were desperate for somewhere to sleep. Mm. Got out of the club in Newquay or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. We couldn't get back to where we needed to go to. The mm. taxis were too expensive because it was like fifty quid. Yeah. When you're a student, you can't mm. afford that. No way. So we uh, found a uh, beach hut mm. that was open and just slept in that. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that is quite cool. It did the job for the night. Yeah. Um, Lucy Charlotte. Mm. What is your all-time favourite Yorkshire Dales hike? Have you done any? I've done none, to be honest, which is, I mean, pretty bad form, isn't it? You live down south, mate. Yeah, And it's you get true, nosebleeds yeah. up here, so, <laughs> you know. Um, Yorkshire this is going to become a meme, isn't it? This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the Dales are pretty awesome. I mean, mm. doing the three peaks is a good challenge to do. Mm. Um, That's on my list, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do you that. You know, you can do that. You could quite easily go and sort of camp on all three and yeah. just make three days of it. A bit like what you did on your National Three Peaks. Yeah. You camped nearby, did you, or something? Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. The first night we wild camped, other nights we just snuck into campsites and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I would like to do that, to be fair. I would, I would like to camp on each peak as well yeah. and make like a whole long weekend out of it. I think that'd be great. Because I, well, Rivers Ribber, of Stale, Rib. Ribble's Head Viaduct mm. um, is right in the centre of all three of the peaks mm. and it's just massive amount of um, stone construction, all these beautiful arches mm. and um, yeah, it is really worth nice to see is that, so that, yeah. that is, yeah. And there's some nice waterfalls on route as well, so yeah. yeah. Definitely worth a look I'm going to say that. 
So, AJ Paler, 84. Mm. What would you rather be or a wasp? <laughs> Probably a wasp because if you're a bee and you sting someone, you're dead, which sucked. All right. Well, I, I'm going to say that I'm kinder than this guy and I would never sting anyone. Oh, so I, wow. I'll just live so, forever with my one sting. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, did you there, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you got the moral high ground there. I see. A strategic, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's not nasty. He's actually the nicest bloke I've ever met, really. But anyway. Um, oh. So, TPH Outdoors, if you had one choice of, of tent, which would you choose? Not mine. Not my current one. <laughs> I agree. Literally, yeah. I would prefer two pieces of A4 paper. <laughs> <laughs> I would. And it would be the same colour, wouldn't it? And so. just two matches as, like, um, <laughs> pegs or something. I don't know. Yeah, not mine. Mm. No. Um, so I've, I've used quite a few tents. Um, mm. I've got to say, though, as going back to, like, a sort of cheaper brand, the, um, what do you call it, 3FUL uh, gear... I think mm. the brand is called, 3FUL. Um, their tents are sort of budget-friendly, but I can't knock them. I think mm. they're spot on. The mm. Lanchon Pro 2, if you walk with trekking poles, it's a no-brainer, buy that tent. Mm. Um, single skin, but it's just so... It only weighs like 900 grams or something. Yeah. And you just take your poles, and if you're walking with them anyway, you know... Does a job. Yeah, so that's a good tent. Uh, link in the description for that one, actually, because <laughs> it's a good tent. Yeah. Um, and what else is there? I mean, my Fell Raven ones have done me well in the storms. Mm. They are decent quality tents. Mm. But after using the tent that I've got down here uh, for the last two nights, it is just, it's its getting me, that one. Yeah. It is. It's really sort of um, doing the job. I think for summer camping, it's small, so, like, it's tight. You know, if you were to mess about in winter, like, mm. wet and all that sort of rubbish. Mm. But... Um, summer camping when you can cook outside, sit outside, and all that. I honestly think this tent's awesome. Yeah, I'm you've well been, happy you've with been it. converted, haven't you? I really have. Yeah. yeah. So that's the Terra Nova Starlight One. Brilliant. Also, link in the description. So Noskook. Noskook. I don't know. Mm. Um, who? <laughs> Let's leave that one to the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Fresh air and views. In your opinion. Mm -hmm. Which is the best outdoor equipment company? Uh, cost, workmanship, customer support. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm I'm banging this out straight away. Go Rab, on. 100%. Yeah. We got invited to the Rab factory. That's where we met. Yeah. They brought us together, so mm -hmm. we like them for that. Yeah. We, you know, they made us match. Yeah. We look like twins. I look a bit younger than him, to be fair. <laughs> um, but Rab are just awesome. Like, yeah, their whole ethos on everything. Yeah, they repair kit. They, like, yeah, they rebuild kit. They'll wash kit. everything for you. Yeah. Your down jackets, they'll... Yeah, yeah, fix it. Their whatever. sleeping bags are amazing. Like, yeah, amazing. Um, I'm gonna go rab. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I think I'm, you're gonna have to say the same thing. To be honest, they're yep. so good. They're and also they're just like community support and the fact that they they've got such forward thinking like leaders in in their company. Like the fact that they invited us out and had us at their factory filling up. Yeah, like uh, our own sleeping bags. It's just incredible. You know, we got a real behind the scenes look. Um, and they're a really trustworthy brand. They, you know, they. They do deliver on what they say. Yeah, um, I, so, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. Awesome. Really great brand, yeah. Mm. Um, okay. The Fairy Dog Mom. Good name. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is. Yeah. Favourite Lake District Peak. Well, we sort of just covered that, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to change that because um, mm. it's got to be my peak. Oh, Alan yeah. Craggs. It's named after me. <laughs> so, yeah, Alan Craggs is pretty cool. And from there, you can see, especially on a clear day, you mm. can just see everything all the way around. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, beautiful place. That's actually just behind us here. Mm. Um, Hong Donald. Hong Donald. Mm -hmm. He is cute with a lovely heart face. Oh, God. That's you, mate. <laughs> you are cute, aren't you? Stop this. Bless Stop you. this. Oh, look, he's embarrassed now. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I might get another nosebleed in a minute. You yeah, never know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, hmm. Foxley Prince. Has he got a dog? I don't. I would love a dog. Spending the last, like, two days with Blue has just been 
so much fun. I don't really have much experience with dogs at all. Like I grew up with a cat um, and just didn't never had a dog in the family and just experiencing him and seeing how friendly he is and sweet he is and well trained he is. Like it just really opened up my eyes to the value of a dog on a hike. Yeah. It just brings it, it, it elevates it so much. It really does. Like, it's I mean, so much more fun. As a dog, he's super easy because he um, he doesn't need any commands. He'll just stay with us or even mm. if he goes 200 yards ahead or behind, you mm. know, he'll catch us up or wait for us. So Yeah, he's rapid. Yeah. Yeah. He's an awesome dog. Isn't he, he is, yeah. He's a great dog. And he, he loves drones. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he loves drones. He would chase a drone for miles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he finishes uh, chasing the drone and then just lays down for like, I don't know, Half an hour just panting, like it's just like ah. Oh, this good, is why he's so sleepy then. now, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah um, it definitely makes me want to get one in the future for sure. Oh, definitely. Mm. Um, so, final question then. Okay. Um, so this is from the Nosco Ock. Okay. Or um, who would win in an arm wrestle? <laughs> who would who would win in an arm I wrestle? Don't know. I don't know. Come on. I gotta back myself, me, maybe. You? Yeah, I would back with myself, you? yeah. All right. I don't, you gotta back yourself. Do you don't know you? I've got a dodgy shoulder? Oh well. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. No, I've no idea. We that you're you're pretty like pretty dense for a forty year old, you know. Dense. Dench. Oh dense. right, yeah, like, yeah. Strong. Oh okay. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm, you, yeah, I'm yeah, not I'm bad for <laughs> forty four, mate. You know forty four, right? mate, it's pretty don't close. Throw those years away. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know is the answer to be honest. I do. I'd beat you. No, oh, <laughs> this guy's this guy's confident. He's Bench, confident. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. Right. Let's see if there's any more questions. I'm sure there's a couple more, but I, I've got no reception, so I can't pick them up. That is why I screenshotted them just so yeah. I had some to do. But anyway, mate, it has been yeah. a pleasure. It has. Nice. One. Absolutely awesome. It's been so, so much fun. You know, cheers to you guys as well. Yeah. Thanks for coming along with us. Yeah, and um, you know. You've got to uh, check him out as well on his channel because um, he's a sound lad, as you can tell, and his videos are just top quality. They really are top mm. quality, so yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there we go. We've got some <laughs> love and respect going on here, Lots like we should it. be sharing to everyone. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. always smiling, so that's, always. that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Awesome, pal. Nice one, dude. Cheers, guys. Mm. Mm. <sighs> yes. And that's a wrap. That, that is a wrap. Nice one, Dee. What a sunset. Yeah, incredible, mate. So, yeah, just uh, I'll turn you around and show you, but just got this glowing orange ball there just falling down behind that mountain. Yes. And if you sit at home, you don't get to see these things. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah, get yourselves out and just. I don't know, even if you don't wild camp, you just go walk somewhere high or drive somewhere high yeah. just to get to see all these things, but stunning. It is stunning, mate. It's so beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. What a day. That is one of the best days I've ever had in the mountains. You know, we had all the adventure and the exercise and just the laughs. We've laughed all day as well. And yeah, just epic. It really has been just an epic day. Yeah, spectacular views, just peaceful, calm. And pitching up here, yeah, just all evening. We've just chilled out and just taking it all in, really. So currently very happy going to sleep. So it is time to lay this lug. I've got the dog I can lay on here. He can be my pillow. <laughs> and yeah, we will see thee in the morning. Morning flowers. What a delightful morning it is. Sunshine, a few clouds round and about. It's fresh and it did actually rain in the night a little bit, which woke me up. But um, the pitter patter of rain put me back to sleep again, so that was quite nice. But oh, glorious place to be. I'll just take you over here. Yeah, just look at 
<laughs> look at all this. Just this sun just laying itself on all these hills here. And it's just casting some shadows down here, which just looks beautiful too. Yeah, what a morning. What a morning. Oh, let's have a quick seat. Hey, my blue. Oh, good boy, aren't you? Go on then. You going or you staying? You staying. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get packed up, get ourselves uh, to the top of Glaramora, which is 700 and summit meters above sea level. And then from there, descend down uh, back to the car and then back to our normal lives. I was gonna say real lives, but I think this is real life and we're going to go back to the manufactured life so yeah ah, like always never want to leave i mean really why would you hey yeah definitely living the dream for that short period of time Come here. Richie, come on. Good boy, jump it. Stop. Jump it, come on. Good boy. Well, there we go, all packed up, ready to go. Blue, come on, let's get this on. So now, once we've checked that we haven't left the trace, we are gonna be heading and summiting Glaramora. So that is gonna be the last challenge of our weekend. But what a beautiful day to finish off on. To be fair, the whole lot has just been fantastic. So we've got no complaints at all, really, with the weather. I feel very lucky because of it. Ready, bluey dog? You know the city gets this on. It's adventure time. Wow. Right, one last tip round.
Nej, det är ju kommer. We've got Blue just eyeing up some dinner there. <laughs> but he won't do anything until I gave him a command. Blue, that'll do, come on. So, take away from those sheep. It's the last few yards to the summit of Glaramora. 783 meters above sea level. And this is it. Touch that point. Where are you? Well done, pal. Yes, we did it, buddy. Nailed that. Nice one. Nice Haven't we? Nice. So, yeah, just absolutely epic two nights out that. Just, you know, finishing on a high here, which is just incredible. Yeah, it's been so fun. So, yeah. Really, really, really brilliant. It's been yeah. a pleasure, mate. It really has. So, I've had a great time. Well, there we go. The end of another awesome adventure. It has been a pleasure, awesome. mate. It really has. It's just so fun. Brilliant. We've had such a laugh. Yeah. All the way through this. And, um, you know, meeting lovely people on the way. I've met some subscribers, mm -hmm. and you know, <laughs> that young lad. He was so special. He was great. What an absolutely awesome lad lovely he really guy. was. Yeah, yeah, so lovely. So that was just nice to meet him. So a big thumbs up to that lad. Yes. Um, yeah, and if you've uh, enjoyed the video, you need to give one of those as well for this. Um, Dave's uh, channel as well. I'll put a link below in the description because uh, it is definitely worth a watch. He does some really, really good content and it's snappy. <laughs> None of this boring waffle that I do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting stuff. Yeah, thanks guys for checking it out. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, pleasure. definitely. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm happy promoting someone like yeah. yourself because, you know, and vice versa, you yeah, know what I mean? This, yeah, this works, you know, yeah. it really does help each other out with these things and definitely, you know, making new friends and all that. It's yeah. just what it's all about in life, really. So it is 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one, mate. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, if you are interested in any of my kit I've got, there's links below in the description. Uh, the tents, that Terra Nova tent I had today, the Starlight one, there's a link to that. 20% discount code too for all their equipment. That's cool. Um, and yeah, there's Patreon set up if you want to contribute to the channel. There is buy me a coffee and just get out there, enjoy your lives, spread the love and yeah. Awesome, eh? Nice one. Yeah. So from me, the bee <laughs> and the wasp <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the beautiful blue, wherever yeah, where he is, is he? here he is. There he is. On cue, hey? Nice one. From the summit of Glaramora. We'll see you another time. Nice one, guys. Yes. See you soon.